It is my pleasure now to introduce to you Dr. Kim Doka. Anything that you have, you can lose. Anything you are attached to, can, you can be separated from. Anything you love can be taken away from you. Yet, if you really have nothing to lose, you have nothing. And I think that really reminds us that, that grief is an inherent aspect of, of life. Because you know, loss and attachment are inherent aspects of life. Parish nurses deal with grief and loss on a very frequent basis, and it helps to identify. It helps to identify those um, losses um, and ways that we can um, help other people through uh, their losses as well as our own personal losses. So, anytime someone loses something that they uh, have put emphasis or uh, importance on um, when that loss occurs, um, there's a grieving process, no matter what it is. He's just really been a pioneer in terms of loss and grief counseling, and so I was wanting to see him in person. You know, I think one of the most important things he points out is the different types of losses. So often we think about loss with death, but it is with, um, you know, job loss and loss of home and, you know, divorce and things like that. And I think in our economic times right now, so many people are experiencing loss that maybe isn't getting recognized and supported. And people have, I think, a real different level of stress than they've ever had before. And so how do we, as a community, as um, workforce um, help support people while they're experiencing all of these things. I work with patients all the time that are experiencing all these different little losses and it's just, well, it's really hard on them. Um, and oftentimes they're like, well, you know, so many other people are more worse off than I am. But, you know, and so they, they just, they feel a sense of shame that they're frustrated about a little loss, which to them is really a big issue and might be a more significant issue than we, we really give them credit for. Um, one of the things that, that Ken helped me do was to validate the ability of going, okay, you know, it's most important for us to really listen to what that person's story is. What does that loss mean to them? Uh, instead of trying to say, okay, the loss of a parent is here and the loss of my ability to walk is here. You know, for that person, that could be huge.